Hey guys, it's Kayla. Thanks for checking out my video for the I Am Freedom Awards 2016. I am so excited, so let's get started. So first, for my look, I decided to start with basically how I would normally do my face with my foundation and my concealer and all my brushes. <laughs> and my contouring, just the same way that you normally would do your makeup. Don't be afraid to use a lot of highlight for this specific look. Um, remember for this, we're outside, so the sun's gonna reflect, and that makes a big difference for pictures. For the eyes, I also use the same highlighter, for under my brow as well as the inner corners. And I used a bright yellow with a neon green overlay for the eyeshadow, as well as a teal, a blue, and a purple, as you can see. Those colors reminded me of a mermaid kind of look, so I figured those would be good. And they're bright, so they would catch relatively well under the water. When applying the shadows, be sure to blend with a fluffy brush so that you don't have a very distinctive line. That makes a big difference in the way the shadow looks as well. Since this look was used underwater, I made sure that I tested all of my products. My foundation, my concealer, eyeshadows, glitters, blush, eyeliners, uh, mascara, eyelashes, everything. Body paints, the blood, Everything was tested beforehand so that I made sure I had no issues once I got on set. I chose to do a big wide wing for this look and I also bring it down in the center. Having lashes on underwater was one of my biggest concerns, but surprisingly, just the normal eyelash glue held very well, both for individuals and for strip lashes, both mink. I chose to overly exaggerate the outline of the lips so that it had more of a fish appearance. Um, and I used the same exact liquid lipstick for my eyebrows as well as my lips and I just put glitter over top. And then going through with a white body paint, I outlined the inside of my neck and my throat as well as above my collarbones, just below my collarbones, and what would be my chest. Um, I used a white. For some reason it was making a pink hue which actually ended up working better, I believe. It matched better. <laughs> and then I went ahead and I put the same color on my face and cheekbones where I wanted the scales. So to make the scales, you're gonna use pantyhose, um, specifically fishnets. I chose some that had a design just to make it a little bit different. And I took a stiff brush as well as a like electric blue, a bright purple, and a bright pink. And I dabbed that on. Um, you have to press kind of firm to make sure that it stays, and so that it stays in place exactly where you put it so it doesn't fall. Sometimes it's hard, as you can see, to get pieces of your body by yourself. So thankfully my loving husband came and helped me out. <laughs> Next I went in with some glitter glue on top of all of my scales and I placed that on and then I took a fan brush with some glitter and I organically put the glitter over top. Um, I didn't do it 
completely covering it. I wanted it to just kind of catch the light, not to be the main attraction. Don't mind my dancing and my singing. <laughs> Then using that same white body paint, I drew on what would be the back of my jaw, the teeth, and then I went ahead and filled those all in. I then used a black body paint to outline this and to add what would be like a rotten gums around the teeth. Then I did, using the black, a shading around the teeth, just so it looked more organic and lively, instead of being so precise. And then I drew in a sunk-in jawbone, and I used black for both of these. I went through and shaded as well on the sides and the bottom, and then blended it out. I also did a little bit of shading on the bottom and the top of each two to blend it in with the black. And then I went through with a deep red color and drew on what would be my scabby flesh. And then taking a Q-tip and some thick blood, I placed that on over my scabby flesh that I drew. And it doesn't have to be precise. It's better if it goes off the red, so pieces of it are lighter and darker, etc. And then for my neck and my chest, you'll see that I did the exact same steps as before. I drew the design, I filled it in with some red and then some black, which would be deeper, and then put the blood over top as well as shaded the areas. And then I drew in little cracks so it looked more realistic. And wherever you decide to do this scab look, make sure that if there's a bone underneath that you also add the bones. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am so excited and honored that I was able to participate this year. Best of luck to everyone. Mwah. Also, if you enjoyed this, please check out my other videos, as well as like, subscribe, and share. Thank you!